Namaste Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, welcome in, thank you very very much for being here, this is a tarot reading, it's a timeless, so whenever you come across it's a perfect timing for you, and it is a general one for you Pisces, so whatever might be resonating with you, take it in and go with the flow with it, let's dive straight into your reading. Let's see what is coming through for you. What do you need to pay attention to and be aware of, Pisces? We are still in your season. I'm wishing you happy birthday. If you have not already, I would truly appreciate if you would like, share, and subscribe. Bottom of the deck. Big energy. Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Some of you, you may be having Earth prominent in your chart. This is about seeing the results. This is about... Being happy and feeling wealthy and lucky to finally see the results. Coming to your seeds can also signify opportunities coming your way. So pay attention at this very moment of time, Pisces. When it comes to your messages, we have the opening message of the Fool, Aries and Aquarian energy, major arcana, starting of zero. So great combination with the bottom of the deck the ace of pentacles new opportunities who can bring very lucky energy very wealthy energy big energy of prosperity very materialistic energy and the new start the new beginning going into the unknown which can be scary yes but it's worth it five of swords also for you air energy Gemini, libra and aquarius this is about a headache this is about overthinking this is about Thoughts swirling around and confusing you, which might be having with the new beginning, which might already start happening for a lot of you. Going into the non unknown, excuse me, as I was saying, can be quite scary, right? You also have the Six of Cups, which is of water element energy, your energy Pisces. Talking about being nostalgic and being caught up in the memories. Uh, it can be literally about the memories or a person, um, who you are connecting with, who you were connecting for a long period of time because it signifies uh, young age and childhood. Let's clarify these messages to dive more into the storylines here. If you're wishing to have a personal reading with me, Pisces, we can definitely make it happen. Let me know. Clarifying the fool, we have the comparison and being stuck in the past. And I feel like this is the fear that I felt, which is coming through. Uh, there is still something unresolved, unfinished business from the past, and it's just keeping you stuck. So the new phase which you are actually wishing for uh, cannot really come through but if it's meant for you and the fool is very strong energy it's going to find you but you need to resolve this kind of energy and make yourself unstuck comparison is that type of energy that uh, there is something that you are still comparing maybe yourself in different situations, how you were uh, doing stuff, how you still are doing stuff. Maybe this is between you and other people, between you and somebody significant for you. Um, and I feel like this is a habit of yours, Pisces, that you keep on comparing between the good and the bad, uh, the worse kind of a scenarios that you are going through. 
bottom of deck for the clarification we have understanding and this is i feel what needs to happen for you so the new start can proceed <clears throat> let's clarify the five of swords Brutality and playfulness and the bottom of the deck we have laziness which is also the energy of i'm not willing to get out of my comfort zone totality is very happy and lucky energy to be in it's very confident and it's about trust um it's almost like you are wishing to have somebody with whom you can talk to because obviously even if you do you are not doing so and you need to open up and interestingly enough underneath laziness it is the message of receiving which is about opening up we need to be open in order to receive and get yourself out of your comfort zone and that can sometimes be quite difficult right time to get playful <clears throat> which is go with the flow just go with the emotion that you are feeling and it will pass by as everything does. Maybe there is somebody in your environment who you believe you can trust, who is there for you. Maybe this person is connected with you through that memory and nostalgia. And you see this person as quite playful. Please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, always in tarot. So if I'm talking here and you get to recognize this is not my story, then it's obviously somebody who you are thinking about or who is very heavily on your minds and in your energy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting the laziness wanting to come through once again let's clarify six of cups <clears throat> we have feelings at the bottom of the deck yeah there is somebody you are really thinking about <clears throat> now i might be getting that feeling that uh, this person is not around you anymore uh, that's why you want to go back in time and just keep on thinking about them about what you guys had and how it was you have pressure, so it's not quite pleasant to be in this place for you, Pisces. But you also have the message of, I'm breaking free. I want to break free. Okay, let's move on to Oracle messages for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Let's see what love universe messages are willing to share. with you the first one is you are destined for greatness on the wings of love so don't hold the grudge even if this is about a past person who hurt you or whatever the case scenario might be don't hold the grudge there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval everyone is doing their best um Maybe there are a lot of blame game involved here between you and this person. Maybe not even a lot of communication between the two of you. <clears throat> Your advice, Pisces, is peace. To be truly happy, want what you have. Don't push the river. Go with the flow. And I was telling you this seconds earlier. And you have recycled at the bottom of the deck saying you are dealing with the things from the past. And we saw that already also. It's the same old story, excuse me. Clear out the junk. So you definitely need to clear some past unfinished business, okay? Uh, and obviously stop comparing whatever you are comparing so you can embrace the new start with the full energy. Okay, hmm. um, I will dive a little deeper 
into this one with some love oracle if this is a storyline about the past because you are a birthday child still in the room my lovely Pisces so let's see what they are wishing to tell you that person that you are nostalgic about what they're wishing to tell you there was someone interfering in our relationship okay what else I'm afraid of commitment. I'm feeling to give you an advice that you should just forget about this person. I am intimidated by you. Okay, passes. I will leave this here. Thank you so very much for tuning in and being here, sharing a little bit of time and energy with me. I truly appreciate that. Once again, to like, share and subscribe if you already have not. And thank you very, very much for bearing with me and being patient with me. I will see you soon. Enjoy.